this is a great place to come if, like me, you like watching birds, or indeed wildlife in general. My name's Thomas, and when I come down here, it's the water birds I like watching mainly. The tufted duck and the goosander are my favorites. But this nature reserve is also home to uh, other feathered or flying creatures, and indeed to things like um, adders, mice, hares, and other kinds of animals. It's great to see, especially when you think about the site's industrial past. There's been coal mining on a small scale here for a very long time, but things only got going on a larger scale with the Ogmore Coal and Iron Company in 1864. And then, a generation later, it was Colonel North who appeared, Colonel North of North Navigation, and he took over the Parkslip Drift Mine in 1889. There he was producing 300 tons of coal a day with a workforce of fewer than 200 men and boys. What comes to mind for me is the mining disaster here at Park Slip in 1892 when 112 men and boys lost their lives. There was an explosion at 8.20 in the morning on Friday, August 26th when 151 workers were underground. The blast broke nearly all the panes of glass in the office windows and in other buildings near the slip. A huge rescue operation got underway. They had colliers from Maestig and all over come down to help search. Of those underground at the time of the disaster, 39 were saved and 108 killed either by the initial blast or by the gas afterwards. Four were rescued alive but later died making a total death toll of 112. There's a fitting memorial to those who died here on the reserve. It consists of 112 stones, one for every person who died. There was further coal to be extracted from the site, and from the middle of the 20th century onwards, there was open cast mining here, until British coal, with the help of the Glamorgan Wildlife Trust, restored the land. Mind you, there's still evidence of the past uh, here nowadays. One of these lakes is made out of the lagoons, which were used to clean the water which came out of the open cast site. Well then, goodbye for the present. I hope we'll meet again sometime, and I also hope you'll enjoy your further exploration of this interesting area. <laughs>